Ah, where is everybody? Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my dear, how are you, son? Oh, that's my beautiful daughter. Ah, uh, where is your mommy and Doris? She's on the beach with her. Okay. Oh, oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. oh, darling. You're back. I am back. Welcome. Yes, I am back with a good news. Yeah, <laughs> That's the no good fun. news. See, the breweries has finally paid me my retirement benefits. <laughs> ah, I was very lucky. See, among 50 people that retired since last year, only six of us received our gratuity. Just six. Yes! You can't believe it! <laughs> I'm so lucky. <laughs> oh. Did it? Yes, there, yeah, 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 yes. Oh. oh, that's good, that's good. Thank God. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Oh, God has answered our Oh, my God. Yes, <laughs> that's the best news I've had in a long while. Now I'm going to buy all my textbooks and handouts. <laughs> But it's not his name. We have to celebrate. Uh, let us celebrate that. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yes. You're right, Sulu. Uh, we still have a bottle of uh, wine. Oh, yes. Oh, go and get it immediately. Let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, no, let's go with him, man. Turn up the gas and then get some glasses. Yes. Quick! Yes. Oh, this is good. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. How did you do it? Hey, my dear. Lord was just on my side. Eh? Lord, you see, this God we serve never fails. We must go for first giving in the church. I support that. <laughs> I trust. Mommy, it's a very good job celebrating. I know you support it. Trust Because he's going to the church, you support it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, that's good. That's good, my dear. I have my son. <laughs> This money to establish a very big poultry farm, and from there we can make a living. You know, I've always uh, wanted to relocate to the village after my retirement. It's not a bad idea, but you have always been an accountant all your life. A chartered accountant for that matter. I was thinking you will go and look for a job in other establishments, or better still go into politics. You know close to nothing about farming. Uh, my dear, that will not be a problem. See, there is this three weeks crash program being organized by the Federal Minister of Agriculture. I will register for it and take part. And you remember that my friend Mr. Akimbi, the one that I retired two years ago. Samuel? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he now owns a very big poultry farm. And I've discussed with him. 
and he promised to be of help at any time. Ah, I know I can, I can make it. In short, we can do it. Okay. If you insist. Well, I would like us to establish it here in the city where we have a bigger market where we can get help from government agencies and banks. We are talking about moving down to the village. What about our children? Where will they move to? Who will take care of them? Or do you expect them to move to the village with you? There's no problem. See, Ifat is already working. She will get a smaller place and stay with Solomon. Doris will move into the hostel. And you and I will return to the, to the village. See, my dear, a man must not wait until he starts working with a stick before you go back to the village. Getting any younger, like I said earlier. Come on, stop crying. No, no. Oh, okay, no, okay. No, no, no. Okay, tomorrow we talk about it. Okay? Stop crying and sleep. Tomorrow we talk about it. I don't like this. Your father wants all of us to move down to the village. Last night, we did not sleep at all at all. I tried all I could to convince him, but he's still insisting on all of us moving down to the village. He said he wants to establish a poultry farm. Tell me. How does he expect you, if at, to follow him to the village? Will Solomon start searching for a job in the village? Or maybe he wants to make him his manager 
uh, in the poultry farm. But he says, please, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Hmm? You all know the village and what goes on there. Is it the evil men and women? Is it the witches and wizards? Or the shrines of wickedness that we learn to live with? Me, I'm not going to any village, oh. I'm not. You children, you people should help talk to your father. Talk to him or me, I'm not going to any village. Me, oh. I am not going to any village. Oh. Obviously, I cannot leave my job. Mommy, you know how difficult it was before I secured this one. I know. Ah! Oh. Mm. Sweet aroma. Daddy, welcome. Oh, thank you, my dear. Everybody's mouth is busy. So I hope I'm not missing anything. Uh, you're not missing anything. This is yours. And there is this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my daughter. Hmm. 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 Who did this? <laughs> Wow! Daddy. Yes, my dear. Daddy, I would not like to go and stay in the village. I don't support the idea at all. Yes. Daddy, this idea of relocating to the village will not benefit anybody. Mm -hmm. It will not benefit any one of us. We've lived all our lives in the city. Why should we go to the village now? How do we intend to cope with the evil people in the village? How? Mommy said you want to open up a poultry farm. You can as well do it here in the city. Mm -hmm. You just rent a cheap land in the outskirts of town. Here in the city you have a bigger market and we all can help out with the farm. Um, my children. You can all stay here in the city. It's only a mother and I that will move down to the village. I don't know why she's so stubborn about it. We both started our lives in the village. So what is wrong ending it there? Daddy, we don't want any of you to move down to the village. We still need your parental advice. And we're still too young to be left here all alone in this wild city. Yes, Daddy. Daddy, please, if you still love us, let's stay as one. Daddy, please don't divide this family. I'm so okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've heard all that you said. I will think over it. Is that okay? Yes. Is that okay? Can I now enjoy this food that my daughter bought for me? Yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy, I think I can do without the breakfast. This is the first time I'm representing my company in a huge workshop like this. And I definitely don't want to be late. I'm going with my boss. And you know white men, they always keep to time. Make sure you don't leave this house without me. Whoa! <laughs> Mommy! I, 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 I'm off to school. I don't want to be late again today. Food will be out in two minutes. <sighs> Mommy, I can't. Mommy, that must be the driver sent to pick me up. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Yeah. I decided to come and pick you myself. But that was what we agreed on. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, how are you? I'm fine. Um, this is my younger sister, Doris. And Doris, this is my Olga in the office. Hey, <laughs> you're welcome. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, madam. You're welcome. Um, mommy, this is Mr. Wilma Hyde, my boss in the office. He came to pick me up himself. You're welcome to our home. Please make yourself comfortable. Thanks, madam. We are late. We have to go. He's right, mom. We're really late for the workshop. Okay. I'll see you in the evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you, madam. Pleasure. 
Ify, can we go? Sure, after you. Ify, let me tell you so you drop me off. Mm -hmm. It's going your way. Okay. Okay. Like, mommy, I have to go to and late. Okay, you want to abandon the breakfast for me? <laughs> it's a lot, buddy. <laughs> oh. After all this trouble. Okay. I took you and your mother and aware. Yes, you did. I like surprises, but this one was overwhelming. I almost stopped breathing. I like your family. Though I did not meet your old man, I hope they love the stuff I bought for them yesterday. Oh, they did. And I did too. But there's a problem. What is that? My father wants to move down to the village. He wants to open up a poultry farm there. But my mom wants to stay here in the city. If they eventually move to the village, where are you going to stay? I'll have to get a small apartment for myself here. Would it be that necessary when I already have a house that's too big for me? You won't understand, Will. In Africa, a lady does not move into a man's house when the man has not paid her bride price. Moreover, anywhere I'll go to, my brother and my sister will have to move in with me. I know Africa and I know what you are talking about. My 12 years sojourn in Nigeria is not all for nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, we, I don't know about you, but I'm famished. Could we find something to eat before going for the workshop? Why not? I can do everything for you, my love. Sure. Let her in, let her in. They are coming. Madam, wow, what a surprise visit. Please, do sit down. Thank you. So, what do I owe this great honor? What do I owe this great honor? Wow, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, I, I need your help. How can I help you? Uh, sir, my husband has been retired from the breweries. And I need to help my family financially. I was wondering if you can be kind enough to help me. At least, employ me. Or, I want me the contract to supply toiletries like soap and disinfectant and other items to your company. Please. <laughs> you have been dodging me since just because I asked you out. Now you need my help. So how can I help you? How do I help you? <laughs> well, uh, I cannot employ you because you are not young enough to work in the factory. Neither can I give you the contract you asked for, because my auntie is already doing the supplies. But I can still help you, only if you can cooperate with me. Please, sir. How can you help me, please? I have just fired my general manager just two weeks ago and uh, 
I have not been able to find any suitable person to occupy that position. And I know your husband is a chartered accountant. Your husband can come in. He can fit in there. Yeah. That is only if you can play game. You can give in to my demands. Play game. Mr. Marcos, I know you are a happily married man. And you are a happily married woman too. <laughs> so it makes two of us. That makes two of us. You see, your husband can have the job only if you can agree to be my mistress plus all the incomparable benefits of being my mistress I thought we had resolved this issue long ago oh there you come again Mr. Amade I hope I'm not demanding much I don't think so I suggest you go home think about it is that okay by you? My pretty angel. I know we're going to have a swell time. Hmm? You're going to enjoy me. I'll give you the best treats you ever imagined. Yeah. Ah, I was worried about you. Ah! Where have you been? Oh, I'm so tired. Fifi, can you get me a glass of very cold water? Hmm. Honey, guess who I ran into today? Mm, somewhere. Then you have to tell me. Okay. I ran into Maggie. Do you remember Margaret? Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Uh, Margaret now. Margaret? Yes. The one that was our next door neighbor when we were living in Luga Street. Margaret, Margaret, Margaret. Margaret now. The one that was always fighting with her husband and you wouldn't let me go and separate them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I ran into her. You know she traveled abroad after the divorce. Mm. Yes. Now she's back into the country. Mm. If you see her, very plumpy and fair. Mm. Can you imagine that? <laughs> My dear. We just said generally. And I told her that you are retired and that you are looking for another job. She quickly offered to introduce you to one of their family friends who needs a general manager. There and then, she called the man. And the chief said, you should see him as soon as possible with your credentials. Eh? Yes. <coughs> Daddy, this is good news. You mustn't miss this opportunity. Um, all I want to do now is to establish my own business. I'm not really interested in working for anybody now. No, no, no. Ify, did you hear your father? Eh? How many of his contemporaries retire and still get a job better than the one they used to do? Oh. Talk to your father. What is the meaning of this? This is God's intervention. God has provided a solution to this village issue. He doesn't want any of us to move down to the village and that is why he is giving you this job on a platter of gold. I can see God's hand in this. Well, I've, I've heard what he said. Um, maybe I'll try and see this man your mother is talking about. That's good! <laughs> Happy now. Okay. 
Let the worry that prepared dinner. No. Oh, well. The things work out. It means that very soon we will be moving into the house as fast as this. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, you're right, but let's wait and see. Oh. Uh -huh, honey, this man you are talking of, how can I identify myself when I get to him? Just tell him Maggie sent you. You'll remember. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go and uh, search for my credentials. I'll go with you. Must you go with me or something? Yes, I have to go with you. I'm so tired. I was lectures. Hectic as usual. Well, thank God the lectures are over now. We'll be starting our exams next week. Next week? Mm -hmm. Yes. That means you have a lot of work to do. Mm, I know. Oh, where's mommy and daddy? They are. They've gone inside. inside. I, I need to take a cold bath. Mm. <laughs> and there's food in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Thank you. In fact, I'm getting really demoralized. I mean, I'm getting tired, you know. I'm tired of searching for work. This is one year after my youth service and I have nothing, absolutely nothing to show for my service. That I'm a graduate. No job. I just sit around the house, eat free food and then go to sleep. It's not funny. <laughs> uh, don't think like that. Hmm? Remember, a patient dog eats the father's bone. That was before. Now, a patient dog dies of malnutrition. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> oh God, I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll talk to my boss and see if there's any way he can help. Okay, you, you want me to come with you? No. Let me talk to him first. Then if there's anything he can do, then I'll contact you. Okay, that's all right. I, I appreciate that. I only hope the man can do something for me. That's the way things are. Mm, if I have to look at that. Oh, where do you see that? <laughs> Did you see what that guy is doing? As if you were concentrating all this while we were talking. Even if I wasn't concentrating, this looks interesting. <laughs> and no, from the look of things here, yeah, mm. I think this is a religious film. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. Hmm? I'll just tell you about it. I've watched it. Mm. I see. Mm. A lot of terrible things happened in the past, even in the Bible. Shh. Darling! Oh. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel you. I miss you. You must be Solomon. Yes, sir. I feel I already know you. Your sister keeps talking about you. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Sit down, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, darling, should I leave you now? Stay. It is better to be here. Okay. Don't stay. <sighs> well, Solomon to the job issue. I met a friend who is a director in a communication outfit. And he asked to tell you to bring your CV to his office on Monday morning. So I will come and pick you up from your own house on Monday morning. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, I'm so grateful, sir. Very grateful. One other thing, I want to talk about it, Solomon. Yes, sir. About your sister, we met in this company and we like each other. We have been going out for some time and I feel it is the right time to get married. Being a wife, I don't know how your parents will see the arrangement. Solomon, I really want you to stand by us when I will come to see them this weekend. 
It's all right, sir. I, I understand everything you said. I, I've heard you very well, loud and clear. Let me quickly assure you straight away that if you love my sister and she's willing to marry you, fine. I won't stand in your way at all. God. Oh, God. God. Thank you very much. I am grateful, Solomon, for what you have done for me and what you have said it. Thank you, Thank you sir. Don't forget to bring your CV on Monday. I will, sir. I will, sir. Thank you very much. Bye bye, sir. God, tell me if you scared the first whole do. God, I'm so Yes, now we can meet your friends. Oh, we can meet your friends now. I'm happy to. <laughs> I feel very happy to meet you guys. This is weekend, not to cool off. But get yourself prepared for the week ahead. Uh, I wish I can, my dear. You see, I promised the MD that I was going to submit the audit report of the company before Wednesday, and uh, this is the only way I can do that. You are really enjoying this, your new job. <laughs> yes, I am, I am. Chief Marcos trusts me completely. He allows me to do things my own way. And virtually at my own pace. Hmm. See, this his salary is wonderful. And I'm really happy to take the job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, madam. Welcome, Mr. Wilma. Honey? Yes? If I was boss. Oh, really? You're welcome. Mr. Wilma? Yes, yes. You're welcome. Hi, sir. Hey, Welcome. Welcome, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sir, please do sit down. Yes. It may seem an issue word to come and see you today. I think I will go straight to the reason why I came here today. I came to ask for the hand of your daughter, Ify, in marriage. What are you talking about? Um, mommy is true. Will and I have been dating for a while now, and we have decided to get married. <clears throat> um, gentlemen, we don't know your history. We just don't know anything about you. You just walked into my house to tell me that you want to marry my daughter. Is that how it's done where you came from? I am Wilmer Hyde, and I work in Julius Berger Construction Company. I work in the same department with your daughter, and I am not a stranger in this house. I have been here before, and I know Solomon quite well. In fact, we are friends. Doris knows a lot about me, and I have also met Madame. Daddy is right. We are friends. As a matter of fact, he's helping me to secure a job now. Daddy, I know him. He's a very nice person. And if he really loves him. <clears throat> um, if at yes. You're telling your mother and I that this is the man you want to marry. Daddy, and we love each other so much. It's okay, it's okay. If that is what you want, I can't choose your mind for you. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? You want to hand over the fat of yesterday? If 
Jesus now barely knows her right from her left to a complete stranger. A man you may never see if he leaves this country. No. I am not in this with you. I am not a party to it at all. My fair daughter. God forbid. Mr. Hyde, my correct? Sure, um, Wilmer Hyde. Okay, okay. I hope you don't eat a lot of uh, hides and skins. I have, uh, <laughs> and I ate a lot of food, Nigerian food, especially yeah. Amala, Eguzi, <laughs> Mandediam. They are so delicious to us. Well, well, well. Um, don't feel embarrassed over my wife's reaction. You see, this news is coming to her as a big surprise. Yes, uh, Mr. Hyde, you see, our mommy is just being human, you know, but don't worry, just relax, we'll sort everything out as a family, mm -hmm. yes. I understand her feeling and I'm ready to wait, I'm counting on you sir. It's alright, it's alright, uh, just go home and relax, my family will send a message across to you. Okay, sir. Solomon, you see me off. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Bye, sir. It's all right. Daddy, why is mommy being so difficult? Uh, she's not, my dear. Yeah, mom is just being protective. I hope so. Yeah. Daddy, let me get you a um, glass of um, orange drink. Ooh. I'm very full. That will be late, okay? <laughs> I'm going to my room. Okay, my love. Bye -bye. Mommy, I love Will so much that I'll kill myself if I cannot marry him. Mommy, please now, allow me to marry the only man I've ever loved. Please. Please now. I can only allow you to marry him on certain conditions. Thanks, so what are your conditions? Sit down. One, he has to agree to sponsor the second burial ceremony of my late grandmother, which your father refused to undertake. Two, he has to buy bundles of Hollandish wrappers for my sisters, my aunties, my uncles, both the dead and the living. Finally, he has to buy a box full of clothes and jewelry is for me. After all, he's a white man. He's very rich. He has hard currency for that matter. Okay. We'll do all that. Even if we don't have enough money to do all of it, we'll borrow. Then we'll save up and pay back later. Only if I get all that I have mentioned. But no one else should hear about it except your so called husband. <laughs> Am I understood? Yes, mommy. <laughs> mommy, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Mommy, let me go in. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Honey, I just finished talking with my mom now.
okay now? Oh, mommy is disturbing me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad to be here today because today, right now, history is being made. Why is it history? Because a man came all the way from Padova in Italy to get his bride right here in Nigeria. And so the two continents of Africa and Europe are united today in marriage. Please give them a round of applause. You know, the world is now a global village, like they say, and so marriage knows no boundaries right now. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Will Mahai from Italy. Today, he has fulfilled a dream to have his beloved woman. My sister, for my miss, in fact, I might even ask his bride. Please clap for her. <laughs> we have already taken care of the legal angle of this marriage at the registry. So we're here to enjoy ourselves with a married couple. And so, ladies and gentlemen, shall we all rise with our drinks to propose a toast to this beautiful couple, which is a long life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so we now go back to our seats because I'm sure that Mr. Hyde will like to say something. Mr. Mr. Hyde, would you like to say something? Sure. Thank you, everybody. I love you all, but I love my wife best. Oh, my God.
Amen. Ah. I was told you want to see me, sir. Uh, yes, my son, madam. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. I'll be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. Yes, sir. And I'll be back in uh, about a week time. Hmm? I want you to take care of everything for me. It's all right, sir. Will you do that for me? Oh, why not, sir? I'll be very glad to assist. Beautiful. Uh, in case there's any emergency, just call me. Reach me on the phone, okay? Okay, sir. My sector will be there for you. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you so much. Fine, just fine. Ah, this chief Marcos is killing me with responsibilities, but I like it. I like it. Yes. <laughs> Mommy. Yes. There's a little problem. Ah. What is the problem? I received a message from the village that my mother is very sick. Oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear this. What do we do now? First thing tomorrow morning, I'm leaving for the village. Uzo, you can't travel now. You know, there's no money in the house. Okay, let me make a suggestion. Why don't we add a little money to the transport money you have and send it to her through Tochugu? No. What my mother needs is care, not just money. Oh, God, Uzo, please uh, try and reason with me. What is there to reason about? If your mother were still alive, maybe you would have understood me better. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm leaving for the village. Okay, okay, what's up? If you insist. Yes, I do. Oh, I, I mean, why? Please, let me have my food. Buy them for your wife. I'm sure she will like it. She will like them. It's wow. They will all fit. I look at them. You think I should? Is it necessary? Why not? She has all the money she needs. So oh no. I mean, I'd rather prefer buy it. Yeah, I know you buy for me. But you have to buy for her. See, money is not everything. Hmm? Sometimes little gifts go a long way to show that we're. This is your day. Come on, sir. I know. Hey, perfume. Look at this! There are... Honey? <laughs> <laughs> I took you away. These are designer. Yeah. Yes. New mask. Uh, yes, I use this. For women. It's so beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. But this should be good for you. You like it? You will buy for me and you will buy for your wife. I want to show her. Okay. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Take anything you want, okay? Take anything you want. Okay. Just pack them as much as you want. Okay. Jewelries. Whatever. Yeah. We'll still go for the jewelries. Yeah. We'll go for the jewelries. This was a beautiful. Just like I can. Like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to. I need some biscuits for the pastel. Oh, biscuits. Okay. Yeah. What about wristwatch? I think this should be gold and wristwatch. What do I have such a Take anything you want. Okay, there are two of those. This is your uncle Silas. Silas? Hi, Sabuja. Oh, and the wife and the children? We are fine. We thank God. And what about your family? Oh, we are all doing fine here. Oh, Silas. I'm very happy to hear from you. You know you hardly call. Hope oh, there's no problem. Everyone is fine. Every person is okay. But I'm wondering what your wife is doing in Abuja. Uzechi. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Uzechi is not in Abuja. She cannot be in Abuja. Yes. Right now, Uzechi is in the village. In fact, her mother is very, very sick. And she's there attending to her. Your wife is here in Abuja with a man. I even know how she smiles. Sure. It's such a change that I've just seen in a supermarket with another man. No, 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 Silas. Uh, not to say my own wife. No, no, it's not. Uh, Silas, I'm sorry. There's nothing you were going to tell me to convince me. Yes. Uh, but Silas, let me ask you this. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to break up my happy family? Why? That's the last thing I would want to do. You are still a part of me. And I'm a part of you. I cannot see any bad thing I hide it from you. The embarrassment rubs off on all of us as a family. Yes, I know that, but I still don't believe you. So you want a proof? You say you want a proof. I'll give you a proof. I'll give you a proof. Okay? Take care. It's okay. No. You cannot do such. Not to such my wife. No. A woman I've lived with for almost 30 years. I think Silas is confused. He's confused. He can be her. Ah! Daddy, who are you talking with? Uh, my daughter, there is no problem. Doris, Daddy. you have to go to the village tomorrow morning. Village? Yes, village. What is the matter? Is grandma not getting better? Uh, not that. Um, she's getting better. But your mother has run out of funds. Oh, okay. okay. So tomorrow you get ready, in the morning you go to the village. Okay, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, has it been long you came back? Yeah, yeah not, not too long. Okay. Yeah. yeah.
everything is all right. Anyway, I'll wait. Mama, no. Hey, Batago. Uh, Welcome, eh? Is it good for me? Eh, Eh, come here. Hey, you go to Mama. No. Hey, my coffee and get that. No, Mama, no do. I saw it. I forgot to do that. I did chop one more. No, oh, one of them. I've been waiting. My daughter, I went to the market to sell bitter leaf and cocoa yam. These days, the market is not encouraging at all. People will want to buy something, but they don't have the money. No money. Only two wraps of bitter leaf and a handful of cocoa yam. That's what has been keeping me in the market since morning. Anyway, how are the people in this city? Everybody is fine, Grandma. Everybody. Yeah. They all sent their greetings. How about my children? Solomon and Ephraim. <laughs> they are fine. Your father and your mother. My mother? Is, is she? I have not heard from her for a long time now. I hope all is well. Yes, Kamoda. Every, every, everybody is fine. Everything. Please sit down. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Okay. Tell me, who brings you to the village? My, my, my father. The daddy gave me this money to bring to you. For me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey. But uh, your parents normally send me money through Tojuku. 
I hope everything is all right. Grandma, hmm? everything is fine. Everybody is okay. Oh, Grandma, I'm so hungry. Let's go inside so we can cook. That's all right. Thank God I made vegetable soup this morning. It was your spirit that made me go to the kitchen and cook. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, eh, I had no feeling. I didn't want to go to the kitchen. But eventually I found myself making fire and cooking soup. <laughs> hmm? <You will> eat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't wait to eat your meal. Yes. Your food. Ah. I've not tested your meal in a long while. Yeah, you will eat it today. Good evening, Dad. Ah, so long. Sir. Hey, my God, I actually dozed off. <laughs> Daddy. Yes. I don't really know what is happening. Disappointments everywhere. Bad luck here and there. I mean, why can't I get a job like most of my friends? Eh? Why is my own case different? Why? Um, Solomon, in arithmetic, one plus one is two. But in life, one plus one can be zero. It can be 100 or something else. In life, all fingers are not equal. Everyone does not have the same experience. Some are naturally lucky, but some have made it in a hard way. I've just told you this. That is fine for everyone. Daddy, good evening. Oh, Doris. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, Doris, my lovely daughter. So, how was your trip? It was lovely. Good. Grandma virtually spoiled me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. She prepared her ever delicious vegetable soup for me. <laughs> I trust. <laughs> and she gave me gifts for everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. Daddy, this is yours. Oh, as usual. Because I'm not allowed to get up your bed. <laughs> My Solomon, this is yours, fruit. Ah. Mm -hmm. Um, this one is for Ifatu and the husband. And this wrapper, Grandma said, Mommy forgot the last time she visited. Uh oh. So how is Grandma now? I'm sure she has improved tremendously. Grandma was never sick. She went to the market when I came. Doris, what are you talking about? So, what is your mother still doing in the village? Mm. <laughs> Daddy, mommy was never in the village. Doris, mm. what did you just say? Doris! Daddy! I said, come back there! What did you just say? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, please, sir, you have, you have uh, Chief Amade here? Yes, that's the flat. I have this uh, man for you. Okay, thank you. You do what? No, he's my father, but he's busy now. So you can stand for him? Yes. You, you sign him? Okay. Yes, you sign him. I'll write your name here. Daddy, pass it for you from Abuja. I see. Sir, 
Sir. Charlie? Please, sir, get me a cup of cold water. Silas just sent me some documents from Abuja. Oh, yes, it's okay, it's okay. found out that Mama was Hale and Hardy. It was the person that brought the message that made a mistake. It was Nneke that was seriously ill. I had to leave for Abuja. Fortunately, I met your boss on one of my trips to the hospital. Or was it wrong that I greeted your boss? Was I wrong? I'm surprised at you, Sage. I'm totally surprised at you. I would have sworn with my life that you were incapable of lying. What a shame! You are a total disgrace to womanhood! You can call me whatever you want to call me. Say whatever you want to say. You sent spies after me. I saw them and I knew you sent them. So I decided to let them have something for you to test your faith. Because of these pictures that I deliberately post for, you are, you are calling me names and accusing an innocent man. God has sent to salvage our family. Shut up! Shut up, woman! Stop lying to me, my friend. You just went to Abuja with my boss, and that is just it. Okay. I slept with him. Is that not what you want to hear? I slept with him. In fact, he was very good in bed. Like you said, it was because I slept with him that he even gave you the job. Yes. He has been sharing me with money and gifts. So, you also ate out of the fruits of adultery. I opened up my legs. Money came in. And you ate them too. Look at the clothes I'm wearing. Look at it. Look at the two earrings. Definitely you cannot afford them. Even the meat in your soup, you cannot afford it. That is why you are accusing me of adultery. Stupid, shameless man. She acts for it. She did not attend to the environment and I gave it to her. You mean my wife, Mr. Amade? Take it easy. Because I gave to your wife the kind of luxury you could not afford to give to her. The money I spent on her clothes and her jewels is three times more than your salary. So I was doing her a favor. Thank you very much for the favor. But you did it to the wrong man. Don't worry. Mr. Madi, are you by any means threatening me? Do you know I can really do without you in this establishment? Oh yes, I know that, Chief Marcos. God is our judge. He sees everything we do on earth. Thank you, Chief Marcos. It's been a pleasure working for you and knowing you. Of course, the pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine.
Fellow, I want you to put an advert on the papers for a post of general manager. Mr. Amade has just resigned. I call for this meeting to make my intention known to every member of this family. I finally decided to go to the village with my wife. I've lost my job and we expected to pack out of this place in a fortnight. So I don't see any reason for us to remain here in the city. I think that is right. Will and I will take you in Doris and Solomon. Then you and mommy can retire to the village. The arrangement is okay by me. Yeah. I like it too. It's not okay with me. I am not going to the village. I am staying here in the city. I'm not forcing anybody to stay with me. So let nobody force me to go to the village. I will look for money and get a small place where I can open up a restaurant. Solomon and Doris are not going anywhere. They are staying with me. Mommy, why? Because you and Doris sadly get along. Even from childhood, I wouldn't want a situation where you and your husband will get embarrassed because of uh, Doris' unwanted pregnancy. Oh, so. <laughs> Mommy, what do you mean by that? I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, in that case, I am not staying with anybody. I am moving into the school hostel. Better. My in -law, if you get to the village, who will be cooking for you and taking care of you? Uh, Mr. Hyde, that would not be a problem. My cousin, Monica, is still in the family house. You guys can continue with your meeting. I have more important things to take care of. Honey, your mother is highly depressed. Leave my mind. Remember the way she treated you the first time you came to ask when I had a marriage? Yes, I remember. Uh, Mr. Hyde, uh, don't worry about my wife for now. She will get over it and we shall move to the village. Do you care for more drinks? No. If he is looking tired, I have to take her to the house and tell mommy we have left. It is all right. I will do just that. Oh, my sweetheart. So how are you today, my baby? Well, just work pressure, you know, since your husband left. He's been just not leaving me. Uh, how are you? I'm okay. It's just that stupid husband of mine. Imagine he's calling a meeting just to inform them that he wants to retire to the village and that I must go down with him. Hmm. And what did you tell him? Of course I said I'm not going anywhere. I guess he'll be going back to the village tomorrow. That's by the way. Honey, I have come to take the money you promised to give me to rent a small house where I will open my restaurant. I don't have money now. If I don't broke, I'm kind of broke. <laughs> but I have an advice for you. Follow your husband to the village and do all you can to be a good wife to him. What are you talking about? I mean everything I just said. Nobody can effectively play the role of husband to you. Two of you are one. One body, one soul. So go and meet him.
what about the money you promised and other things you promised to do for me if I accept to be your mistress? Well, if your husband was still working with us, I would have done everything. But unfortunately, he's no more working with us. So, the relationship has to come to an end. I am very serious. It is over. No, Chief. It can't be over. It cannot be over. After sacrificing my happy family, my body, and my husband to please you, just to fulfill your insatiable appetite. Baby, you are stupid to have done that. Now get out of my office. Get out of my office! I can just get up and leave and forget that anything ever transpired between us. But I will not. You will surely pay! You will pay for breaking my home! You will pay for deceiving me! You will pay! Now, get out. I don't want to set my eyes on you again here. Get out of your throat! Get out! Oh, Mark! You called me a slut? Yes, I called you a slut. After abusing me, you are a bastard. Have you have you forgotten I'm a woman? Have you forgotten? Now get out. I say out. I can just pick up a phone and tell your wife all about us. I can I can press charges against you in court and get you arrested. I, I can stare out scandal that will tell you to go to your grave. Don't dare me, Mark. Don't just dare me. You cannot do it. Just, just try it. I said try it. No, I won't. I'd rather leave. But you are surely going to pay for this. You will pay for this. You will see. Stupid idiot. Cheers, Ibel. Cheers, Ibel. Radiance. Uh, 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 Amadi, you are the true son of your father. Yes, you. We were beginning to wonder if you would never come back home. Okay. That is right. We have been expecting you since you retired from your brother's job in the city. Uh, thank you, my kinsman. In fact, I was very reluctant to come back to the village after my service. Oh. Yes, uh, but now I'm here. I'm very happy. But it wasn't very easy. Um, I understand your fears, Amade. It's not a very bed that can perch with a vulture in the marketplace. No. <laughs> but at least your wife and children are still in the city. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the truth, Elders, is that one of them is still in school, while others are searching for jobs in the city. <laughs> Don't mind Ogidi. He who shakes a coconut shakes himself. The politicians are here again, campaigning. It is the survival of the fittest. Okabu wow. is right. A lot of changes going on in our village now. The youths are clamoring for a change. All I have to say is, he who guides his mouth, preserves his life. <laughs> Okota has said it all. Advice is like medicine. Proper. It is when it has been taken before you know if it works or not. <laughs> well, you should be back by now. But if Chief Uzuna does not give you enough money to settle the youths and the women, he will not even survive the primary, so... Oh! Oh! oh. No. Let's go, my kids, man. Good night. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, my elder. Ah. Oh, I'll try and see you people later. Oh. Good night. Good night. Oh. Good night. Good night. Oh. Ah. Ah, this is wonderful. Village may not be boring as I think. At least the political fever is raging. Uh, why don't you 
follow the saying that if you can't beat them, join them. Yes, that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Now, my your food is ready. Ah, Monica, so fast. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. God will bless you for me. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Eh? Thank you, sir. Mm. Yeah, I'm still. I'm also wondering if there is any other thing I can do for you before I return for the day. You know, we villagers will go to bed early, quite unlike you people in the city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't think there's any other thing. Uh, Monica, I never knew you were this strong. You wake up in the morning and clean up the whole place. You go to the market and come back late. Yet you have the strength to prepare the meal. Don't doubt my abilities. I'm so strong, hmm. so tough, hmm. <laughs> as tough as you can think. <laughs> so, remember, I have lived in Port Harcourt for many years, where I dated both white and black seamen. All those experiences made me tough. It's a pity. My marriage failed because I couldn't be a child for my husband. Um, Monica, it's okay. God will give you your own child at the appointed time. There. Do you know I'm no more a young woman? That's correct, yes. Sir. Although God is a miracle worker. That's correct, that's correct. Can I now go and come back for the place later? Uh, no, don't come back. Just go to bed. Uh, you can collect the plates in the morning. Okay. You know you've had a hectic day. Thank you. Uh, just take the food inside. Okay. I'll eat later. It has not been easy, Amaka. Not easy at all at all. I opened this restaurant last month. But it's not flourishing. I, I, I keep throwing food away, wasting the little money I have. Chief Marcos must pay for losing and bumping me. This lady has never been humiliated by anyone ever before. I must find a way to take my refuge. I must. All these things are not in Ozo. I suffered a lot in the hands of men. But now things have changed. I'm so rich. I'm known at, at my beck and call. I can help you. You can? After what are friends for? Yes. You see, I can help you get your revenge and make you very rich. Yes, there is a... Good evening, Mom. Welcome. Thank you. You can go in and dish out food for yourself. But I'm not hungry. I'm just coming from Ifatu's house. She's been delivered of a baby girl two days ago. What? Yes. And you were not bother to come and tell us immediately? Oh, yes. He was going to do that. But when he saw me, he pleaded with me to tell you and then ask you to prepare. He's coming to take you for the Amoko. Why would Wilma come to tell me not to immediately tell me? Why? You should not come and tell me. I tell you, Wilma. Remember, he's a white man. So, just go for the Amogo. Go for the Amogo. When you come back, we complete our arrangements. Okay? You see what I've been telling you? This is just an example. Eh? Everyone just does whatever they like, anyhow. Behind you all those. What foolish white man is that? No one. My daughter put to bed, they, they will come out and tell me immediately. Who is taking care of her? Mommy, I wonder where your strength comes from. 
It's just six o'clock and everywhere is looking clean and neat. Hey, remember your wife is coming in today. And I wouldn't like her to come and meet a dirty house. At least she will realize that village life is very sweet and good. So when she finally comes home to stay, you will be better. <laughs> there you go again, Monica. Who told you that Uzoichi is coming to stay? See, she has a uh, contract jobs in the city. And moreover, the children need their mother, okay? So you said she's not coming to stay? Oh no, she's coming, but she won't stay for long. <laughs> good morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, You are ready, up? Yes, dear. <laughs> the business before pleasure. That's good. Uh, the youths have already assembled in the town hall. We are expecting the local government chairman by 11 a.m. I see, I see. So, how much did we agree that we spent for the reception? Um, okay, 15,000 naira for refreshment and another 15,000 naira for the hiring of canopies, chairs, tables, and the payment for the dance troupe. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Yes, uh, well, this can wait. You have to start doing something right now, okay? Yes. So follow me, let me give you the money. Yes. Money, 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 ka. Is this water not too hot for the baby? No, the water is not too hot. This is Africa. <coughs> if the water is not as hot as this, the baby will get infected and become sick. Really? Yes. I have heard a lot of story about child care in Nigeria. I have heard that some tribes threw a day-old baby into the water many times. That sounds disgusting to me. But it's true. The practice is common among riverine communities. Okay, I'm off to work. Is there anything you need? Yes! Oh. She will need a small dry fish. And you buy fresh ones for me. The different types of wine you have buying for me is non-alcoholic. I love alcohol. Uh, Next time you get me <laughs> alcoholic wine. Uh, I prefer stout to wine. If you can buy me a carton of stouts, that would be right for me. <laughs> okay, now let me go. I will see you that. Okay. Uh, let me let us go now. I'll see you there. Uh, I'll see you there. Uh, I'll see you there. Bye bye. <laughs>
promise to guide and guard our secret court? Do you promise to be loyal to the court? And if we allow you into our fold, what do you want in return for your loyalty? I want revenge to those who made life miserable for me. I also want wealth to make life more pleasurable for me. That can be arranged. Are you ready to pay the price? I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything. Good.
Am I daydreaming? <laughs> it's real. Real? Ah, enjoy your work, my sister. <laughs> Which reminds me, what about those men you say you want to do with? I will make up time and unleash my wrath on them. And that will be very soon. That's good. Um, Jeff and I were just driving past. And I said that it would be nice to say hi to you. I even came in this car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeff. Who's Jeff? Hmm. One of my regular boyfriends. His office is closed by and we have an appointment with our managing director. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Jeff is too serious. Hmm. Imagine the old fool proposing marriage. Marriage? That's good. What's wrong with marriage? Anyway, I don't want to talk about marriage now until he buys me the new jeep. You want to change your old jeep? I want to get rid of the old That's good. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Eh? I don't know what I would have done without you, Amaka. You are a very good friend. Just remain faithful to our cause. And more, and more shall be added unto you. Amen. <laughs> I've been lost in what I was doing. Why are you so beautiful? I've never seen you like this before. This is you're just adorable. I am very sorry the way I got to do it. It's just because of the way your husband talked to me. I'm sorry, okay? Why don't we start it all over again? Now that the man has gone back to the village. Can we? Okay, to start with. Uh, what about me uh, arranging a weekend treat for you. Just for two. In London, Charlotte. What do you think about that? I'm very, very serious. This is not a lie. Wait, wait, wait. 
This one you are smiling. Are you sure he will sign it? He will. He will sign it. Are you sure? My boss is a very intelligent. <laughs> are you sure? But he may find another way to get back at them. He will find another way to get back at them. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, 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 John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope this won't be an issue of when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I pray we we'll receive our salary at the right time. No, he won't try it. Okay. Ah, he won't try it. He won't allow him to do that. <laughs> what was that crashing sound? I don't know. Move the store has entered the services morning. Are you sure? <laughs> so we we are, the, we are still talking about. Uh, yeah? Let me check on. You should write this too. Write it. This man is busy enjoying himself. Hmm. But wait, oh, John, hmm? <laughs> honestly, I, I, I pity his wife. <laughs> wait, are you sure this is just love making? Are we sure that man is not being attacked by, them, by the lady? Oh, the other way around. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> coming from the company where I attended job interview last week. I didn't get the job. I mean, I'm sick and tired of how things don't work in this country. Oh, come on. Don't feel bad about it, okay? It's not gonna last. It's just a matter of time. On a more serious note, I think I have to see Uncle Nicholas. Who is Uncle Nicholas? Oh, my late father's bosom friend. I really have to speak with him on your behalf. So how do you intend to introduce me to him? How else? That you're my fiancé and we've dated for five years and you're desperately in need of a job. Nothing else. Yeah, five years. Five years is a long time, my dear. It's unfortunate that you've not been able to see my people. What are you talking about? There's a little get-together in my house this weekend. I would like you to attend so you can meet my folks. And what are you people celebrating? Oh, Doris. You know, Doris just finished her youth service. And my mother thinks that um, her success is worth celebrating. I see. Okay. If you want me to be there, I'll be there for you. Of course I want you to be there. Then I'll come. I'll be on my way now. I'll come. Have this for your pocket for me. Oh. And make sure you take care of yourself. Of course I will. This is good. This is why I love you, you know. Okay. We're gonna go drive. Do <laughs> take care of yourself. Hey you too. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Should we start getting ready for another celebration? <laughs> well, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this is Uche. He's a friend and a medical doctor. We met during service. Let me leave it at that for now. He's a nice young man. He's responsible Um, Mom. Yes. I would like to introduce uh, Juliet here to you all. Um, Juliet, this is my mother, my two sisters. The little girl is her daughter. Um, Juliet and I are engaged. And so, as soon as I get a good and stable job, we'll head straight to the altar. Wow! <laughs> hey. 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 That's good! You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, mommy. Uh, for Solomon to introduce you to us, it means you're nice. Oh, yes, she is. You're welcome, eh? Very nice. <coughs> She's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be going to see. Well, I'll be going to the village soon to see Papa. Uh, to know how he's doing and also to tell him that I am true with service. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Papa was really looking good and younger when Will and I visited him last week. Yeah. In fact, we're planning to sink a bubble for him. Really? Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, I'm so happy the way things are unfolding in our family. Eh? Mm. Solomon here is talking about settling down. Eh? The young man hovering around the wrist. I am sure. His intentions are not different from that of Solomon. <laughs> then, my Oyibo in law wants to go and sink a borehole for us in the village. Oh, I'm overwhelmed with joy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm happy too. Yes, I'm so happy. I wonder why your father still doesn't want to come and join us in the city. Hmm? It's really now that the fortune of the family is uh, getting more stable. Mommy, don't bother about our daddy. He's now relaxed in the village. And I don't think anything will make him live the good life he knows in the village now for this madness in the city. So let him be. Okay? He has his life to live. Olga! Hmm. You're a big girl now. Hmm? <laughs> you people should be allowing her more time with Granny. Hmm? At least that will afford you and Will more time to make another baby. Hey, wrong <laughs> me. <laughs> or are you people planning to stop at one? Like his uh, foreign culture approves? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, Will and I have been thinking towards that direction. We'll be traveling to Padova on holiday hmm. and also to spend some time with these people. Oh, I've met these people just once, and that was before we got married. Okay, that's good, that's good. Just hurry up, eh? I need to see more of my grandchildren. You have a truckload of them. She has some of them on his mind. Solomon. Getting joining us. No way. Instead, I'm very grateful. Mother, yes. I 
have a problem with them. Ah, no problem is too big before us. So what's your problem? It's my in-law, the white man. He has been a source of problem to me lately. He's very stingy. Very, very stingy. He hardly listens or consults me in anything, even the things that concern my family. I refused him getting married to my first daughter. No, he, he has gone to sink a borehole for my husband that abandoned me and our children and left for the village. Mother, you know, you know, I, I, I can't allow that. I cannot. Hmm. This white man, what is his source of income? He's an accountant with a construction company, mother. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. We will find a way to discipline your erring in law. Young man, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. And so, who are you? My name is Solomon Amadi, sir. Solomon Amadi? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, Julia told me you are a graduate and seeking employment. Yes, sir. I graduated five years ago. Five years ago? Yes, sir. Um, get your credentials ready tomorrow. Come to my office and start work immediately. Huh? I trust Juliet and believe in her judgment. Her father used to be a very close friend of mine. Very close friend of mine. It's a pity he had to leave so early. Well, so is life. I really need a young man I can trust. And if things go on well, we can go into partnership. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, do this. Sir. Go inside and prepare some food and uh, some drinks for you and your friend. Sir, I, I don't know what to say, sir. <laughs> thank you so much. I am so grateful for this offer. As a matter of fact, I was even skeptical when we were on the way here. Oh, well, were you skeptical? Well, it's been a long, hard road for me. Five years after graduation, no work. I have written applications and applications and applications, yet nothing came out of them. So I, I was uh, just thinking that this would be one of those visits. I'm mm. grateful, sir. Right, don't need to worry. Juliet! Juliet! Get me food and your drinks ready now. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way, sir. I have just been informed that the external auditors will be coming in on Monday. How prepared are we to receive them? 
If they decide to come now, I'm ready for them. Meanwhile, I want all the documents for the purchase of trunks from Germany. Can I have them right now? So I will prepare them immediately. Go and get them. Thank you very much. Nothing much going on. Good. I want you to concentrate on securing a good job and being comfortable before thinking about relationship and marriage. Men can really be unpredictable. You have to be careful of them. You can even see what happened to your sister's husband. He lost his job because of a fire incident that he knows nothing about. If your sister were not working, how would they be feeding? So, no man until you are ready. And when you are ready, I will know. Thank you, Mommy. I like the advice. I'll keep you informed on any development towards that direction. Please be careful, my daughter. I don't want you to fall into wrong hands by rushing into marriage. Hmm? Mommy, I am not thinking about marriage now. Maybe I'll consider that later. Please, take all the way. Hmm? Serve her food after she has had her bath. Okay, Mommy. Okay, let's go. Setting your office on fire. I wonder. How 
can people be so wicked? Eh? But why now? Why now that you and your wife want to go and sing bobo for us in the village? Why? Huh. It's all right. I am still a young man and I have good credentials. I will get another job sooner than anybody will think. I have no doubt about that. Uh, Mama, don't worry about us. Hmm? We'll be fine. Okay. Uh, Solomon, how is work? Oh, work is fine, really. It can't be better, you know. I am financially stable now. And very soon I'll be moving into my own house. <laughs> so I think this is the right time for me and uh, Juliet to get married. So soon? Juliet! So soon? Hey! Oh! God Almighty, I thank you. I thank you for what you are doing in my family lately. Thank you, God. Ah. Oh, God is good. So Solomon is not only employed, but he's also planning to get married. Hey! Congratulations, Solomon. I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy too. <laughs> very soon I'll be talking about going to a home in your house. Hey! <laughs> Mama! So soon. Ah! Hey, now. Don't you know, young men of nowadays, once they start talking about getting married soon, the next thing you hear is that they have a baby soon. Mama! <laughs> 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 ah, I did not say anything. You know. I did not hear anything. You know. okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so, um, sir, I'm impressed by your performance so far, Thank and you, I'm sir. thinking that uh, I'll be sending you to London next month. To help me stabilize that branch too. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you sir. so much, sir. That will be my pleasure. And uh, Juliet, sir. I'm happy you are getting married to an industrious and honest young man. When will that be? We are still at the consultation level. We'll let you know time, sir. But I hurry up before these city girls take over. <laughs> no, Uncle. Solo is a one woman man. He's not like that. Oh, if you say so. Yes, I do. I love Julia, sir. I will never, never hurt her. If you say so. Oh, yes, I do. I say so. <laughs> not where I live. You will not marry that girl. And that is final. I don't care. See, I don't care whether you live or die. I must marry Juliet. Come to think of it, where were you? Where was everybody? All of you, where were you when I was searching for a job all over the town? It was Juliet. This same Juliet was the only one who stood by me. The job I'm doing now was secured for me by the same Juliet. And you want me to abandon her now? No. No, I won't. And in fact, get used to the idea that Juliet is your daughter-in-law because I'm going to marry her, whether you like it or not. You tell me, Solomon. You tell me! I bore you in my womb for nine months. I suckled you. I took care of you. Even when your father abandoned us and returned to the village. How dare you raise your voice on me because of that girl? Okay. Go ahead and marry her. With time, you will understand what I'm talking about. Now leave my house. Leave my house. Leave. Leave my house. You are asking. I can leave. You're, you're really pushing me? I will do more if you don't comply. Leave! This is one of the very many things I tried to discourage myself from getting married. But 
He's bent on marrying Juliet. Supreme Mother, please, you must help me out. Please. Please, sir, uh, my fellow ladies of Obaka Sisterhood. We all know that Uzeji has been very loyal to this cause. We must find a way to help her. The Obaka court is not a court for weaklings. Uzeji, this court has made you rich, powerful, and very influential. You need to work harder. Uzeji, you know very well we all have our own problems. So why don't you solve yours? Problems are like a cross. Every body carries his own. Just like Sister Naira pointed out. Mother oh, God, yes. My own problem is peculiar. And, and so, it's very difficult. And so, I need your help. That's why you're my sister. Please, my honorable ladies of Obako Sisterhood. Just like Lady Queen mentioned, Uzechi has mainly asked for her help. Let's help her. And uh, even if we must help our Supreme Mother, we still await your response. Yes, Court Mother. We are waiting for your response. Yes. Sister Constance is right. So also, CC London. Supreme Mother, we are waiting for your response. Thank you, honorable ladies of Obaka Yes, mother. You said she got her job? Yes. His fears introduced him to her late father's friend who gave him the job. He has, he has been giving him professional treatment ever since. That's interesting. Your son's benefactor is he married? He was, mother, but now he's divorced. Let's see what we can do tonight.
Jesus. Condition is now still good. Yeah. Doctor, he has his personal doctor in London. Why can't he be flown there for further treatment? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, he has uh, indicated his interest in being flown abroad for medical treatment. Okay. Yeah. That's why he sent for both of them. Oh. Hmm? Please go easy with him. Okay. As a matter of fact, he he managed to scribble something down. Yes. Where is that note? Okay. Please, if you people wouldn't mind, I'll please discuss us. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My office in London is sentenced on five pounds through the Western Union in Solomon's name. Solomon will claim it and use it to pay for a chartered flight and other arrangements. See my secretary immediately for other details. Alright, um, honey, you stay with him, okay? Let me start running around for this. Okay?
You cannot miss this house. Just follow my description. You cannot come inside. Say. You cannot miss the house. Just follow my description. Sit down. I only hope he did a good job. Of course, he knows the consequences. If you fail, I'm sure you cannot fail. I saw the man come out of the bank with the money. He did not deposit any money. Besides, the bank had closed by the time he got there. I'm sure. Let us believe what he just said. When do we leave? It's a quarter to midnight, okay? Let's make it midnight. Good. Guys, remember I promise you. Tomorrow morning, I will meet you guys for my own share. Remember. Bye. See you. See you. I need to have my rest now. By midnight, strike. The pro. Let me sleep. Flight is for 10 in the morning. Right. I've equally spoken to his doctor in London. They are waiting for him. Who's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will soon be leaving for the city. Mm -hmm. I have come to ask for my own share of the bright price. 
Uzo. What did you just say? I demand my share of the Mrs. Bright Prince. When did it become fashionable for the sharing of the bride price? It is now fashionable because nowadays men have abandoned their responsibility, leaving their wives to see to the upbringing of their children. I want, I want my own share of the fruit of my labor. Better leave my presence now before I make you realize. This is not the city, mind you. So, you want to rob me of my right in broad daylight? Simply because we are now in the village. You want to deny me the fruit of my sleepless nights. The cross I carried for many years. While you are here, enjoying pan wine. Yeah? You better go inside and continue your ranting there. Don't disturb me here, woman. I see. Uh -uh. I am not ranting. I am ranting because I'm I am demanding for my right. It will never be well with you. This money you want to share with me will go for your life. You will never know peace. You will see.
Uncle, we had a very terrible time last night. We were attacked by armed robbers. They were many, fully armed, with guns, machetes, axe. They broke the door and entered the bedroom while we were asleep. They demanded for the money. They were violent. They were ready to kill anybody to, who resisted. We had no option than to give them all the money. We gave them all the money because they were ready to kill. It's all right. It's all right? Thank you. Where is Juliet? Juliet? Yeah. Juliet is in what for? What? Yes. What happened? What happened? They raped her. The young robbers raped her. Couldn't do anything. I couldn't save my fiance from that terrible ordeal because they had guns. They would have shot me if I tried to save her. So she's in she's in there. What? Okay, what is it? Okay, what is it? It's a game of numbers. If we all join one political party, we can bargain and tell our leaders what we want. Exactly. But if we are all scattered in different political parties, all that we are not interested in the political process, I have children my enemy. Then who will speak for us? There will be nobody to take our problems to the government. Who will do that? Oh, where? No, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh. I'm a queen. Yeah. When? Yeah. When? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> my brother, my... we don't understand the politics. The only thing we know very well is our farmland and the wine trade. I don't like politics. Mm. And I don't want to be part of it. Therefore, I am living. I didn't do it right. I won't be part of it either. Therefore, I am going as well. Now I can work. Now I can work. Uh, 
Uh, excuse me, not, not, not even you now. Huh? This is voluntary. I know our people very well. I know how to make them understand what we are saying. Meanwhile, let us enjoy our drinks. Oh, it's in our water. People learn. They are only interested in their farmlands and Pamwai threat. Yeah, uh, don't mind Adindo. Adindo is the one who is always clamoring for democracy. Yet he's always running away from politics. Uh, so how do you reconcile the two? Uh, probably he want us to gather our wives to go and fight for us. <laughs> 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 ah, I think he is a coward. <laughs> By the time I talk to him, he will understand. Are you sure? Yeah. Mas, yeah, well. Mas, you better talk to him. You better talk to him. I know you are going to move on. Yeah, yeah. 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 We cannot all be in the farmland while things are going wrong. Yeah. Madam, Madam, is mom. Oh, that's possible. Talk to him. I will. I will. The food? Oh, yes. The aroma alone is enough to make <laughs> any man salivate. You always like food. Of course. You're a very good cook. Thank you. Mm. I was surprised at the behavior of Uncle Nicholas' relations during his burial. It was so barbaric. Yeah, I believe they are fighting, though crudely, to protect their brother's wealth, that's all. Hmm. But, he has children. Even though he had divorced his English wife, the children ought to inherit his properties. Yeah, ideally, yes. Let's talk. 
What is the matter? I don't want to marry you, Ike. Huh? This is your wedding ring. Julia, is this some kind of joke? Call it anything you want, but I can't marry you again. Honey, what have I done? Hmm? What has come over you? Yes. Don't touch me! Juliet, what has suddenly come over you? We love each other so much that we swore to be each other's partner for life. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Juliet, is it because of the rape? Are you pregnant? Or have you contracted the virus? Well, even if you have, I will stand by you through thick and thin. Don't touch me! We are not meant to be husband and wife. Can't you see that? Nothing will ever work out for us. This relationship is doomed. It's over between us. We better part ways so that we can move on with our separate lives. I loved you, but I'm sorry I can't marry you. What has suddenly come over Juliet? What is responsible for this strange behavior? Huh? Who has been talking to her? Or who has she been talking to? your service any second, any minute, and any day. I know. <laughs> believe it my husband's new job is better we have more time to ourselves now and the salary is fantastic <laughs> you know sometimes I think God uses setbacks to push his people forward mm, honestly yes and I'm <laughs> I'm so happy for you <laughs> you can't be happier than me <laughs> Uh, sometimes I, I wish I can be as lucky as you are. Yes, because good jobs are very difficult to come by these days. I agree with you. But just put everything in God's hands, you know, His time is always the best.
welcome. Thank you. Where have you been? Eh? And how about we've not been seeing you all this while? I'm gonna... What are you doing here? Doris! How did you locate this place? And who asked you to be here in the first place? I went to your place and there was no one there. As I was leaving, I met your friend in the kitchen. She told me you were here and yeah, gave me the address. All the same, Doris. Shouldn't have embarrassed him like this. Um, please do sit down. Huh? Thank you. But you've not answered my question. Well, I've been around. But your sister will not see me. She's been dodging me. And I, I wonder what I did to her. Maybe you've been doing things she doesn't like you to do. Like infidelity, flirting, you know, <laughs> things that most men do. No. She is here. Why don't you ask her? Okay. So, Doris, what is the problem? Okay. <clears throat> Mama wants me to be careful with men. So, I am trying to be careful with him. So, that is what this is all about. Mama is now the one to choose a husband for you. Let me advise you, little sister. Papa is the only one that has a right to approve of your marriage with anyone and not Mama. That is the tradition. Okay? Um, Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you. Doris, get him something to drink. Oh no, uh, that wouldn't be necessary, madam. Besides, if you don't mind, I will like to talk to Doris. With all pleasure. I really do. Doris, I, I want to wake up every morning and be by myself. I want to go to bed every night to stop the kissing. It is fine. I love you too. Okay. We've been friends right from the orientation camp during our youth service. I really love you. But sometimes I don't know. What don't you know? 
tell me what's the problem. The reason I want to build my world around you. Just you, nobody else. Please. Do I tell her that you are interested in that business? Of course I am. Who would be? <laughs> I need to make all the money I can. <laughs> That's good. In that case, I will be leaving. Um, I'll see you tomorrow or next. It's all right. Yes. I'll call you tomorrow morning. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, let's not forget. Um, Madam Gold and Sister Imelda will be traveling to Germany next week. You mentioned that you needed another chip. Yes. So why don't you pay some money into Madame Gold's account so that she can get you another good one? That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. In that case, I'll call her, and ask her her account number mm -hmm. and how much I'll pay. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> and um, just as we have discussed, make sure you be careful and remain strong in our feet. Supreme Mother, I will. Okay. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see you all. Okay. <laughs> good evening, Ma. Good evening, my daughter. How are you? Fine, Mommy. Good evening. Doris. Mom. Where have you been all day? Mommy. Are you not the one that sent me to Ifatu's house? You mean you've been at Ifatu's house for the rest of the day? Mommy, I had to help her with some household chores. After which I went to the salon to fix my hair. Didn't you notice? Mm, it's your usual. You're always doing this style. But it's beautiful. Anyway, it's beautiful. Oh, okay, mommy, well, thank you. Um, if I just said I should bring Olga to her tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I have to go in, I'm so tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to go in. Have some. <laughs> of town? No. I've been around. But you're the one that has refused to come and see me. Doris, is that true? You refuse to see a man that wants your hand in marriage. I'm only following mommy's advice, so she advised me to forget all about men for now, that they are very unreliable. Mama. Eh? Mama, how can you do that? Doris is in her mid-twenties. She's a graduate and she's not getting any younger. What did I do? 
What did I just do? Is it wrong for me to advise my daughter to be careful with men? Eh? Is that not what every caring mother will do? Did I tell you not to get married? I only said you should be careful so that you won't make mistakes. That's all. Is this not the man that wants to marry you? Uh -huh. Go ahead and marry him. Even today, if that's what you want. Mama. Yes? I really want to marry her. Okay? That's all right. You want to marry her? Yes. Go and tell her father and the elders in the village. That's her tradition. Hmm? If you want to marry her. Also go and tell Solomon, her brother. That one lives here in the city too. Huh? Hmm. When you conclude with them, fix the date for introduction, I will come and celebrate with you. Okay? Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. I'll do just that. You're welcome. Anytime, any day. Hmm? Make this place your second home. Hmm? Thank you. I I guess I'll be leaving now. Okay. Um, Mama, I, I'll be leaving with you. I'll come back to see you. Okay? All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. Yes, we will. Um, mommy, let me go and see them off. I told you. It So, what next? We'll go to see Solomon from oh. here. Mm -hmm. I hope Solomon will be in a good mood today. He has not gotten over his breakup with Juliet. But we must see him. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, Doris, mm -hmm. don't worry. Mm -hmm. Everything will work out fine. Just take care of yourself. I trust me. Thank <laughs> you, my sweet. <laughs> Honey, call me after Saint Solomon, okay? Oh yeah. Okay. I love you. What do I do now? Don't supposed to get married. Oh my God. My life is in danger. Go You will come to love him. He's a very nice person. Really? Um, Have you eaten? Oh, mommy, yes. Let me go inside and continue with what I was doing. Okay. Why don't you join me? <laughs> mommy, do you want to overfeed me? Don't we? Thank you. <laughs>
my daughter dead. God forbid. Village. Village! Money, 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 Traditional marriage. This is just paying of bread price. He may be wine. Now, if this is as grand as this, how do you think the he want to a traditional marriage will be like? Of course, the whole town will shake. And I can assure you that if you come there, by the time you finish drinking, you will not be able to film it. <laughs> the music is wasted. Let me go join them and continue the dancing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Down. Thank you. So, how did it go? As planned, of course. Mm -mm. It didn't work. What didn't work? It didn't work at all, at all. What didn't work out? Why? Why? My daughter insisted that she must eat with him. Oh, mm -hmm. why? You would have carried against it. But I did. There was nothing I did not do. I swear, I did all I could. Oh, she my face. You don't understand. Your life is in danger. What? You must go and meet our mother right now. She's the only one that can help you. Uzo, leave. Leave! Don't you understand? Okay. Be serious. I should not say about that. Yes. Hey, Uzo. Yes. Come. Listen, one of them was deranged. I mean, one of them must be deranged. Really? Yes, that is the only solution to their marriage. Okay, let me go see her mother. Please leave it with me.
nothing wrong with you. I saw him a few minutes ago. I don't know what is actually wrong with him. He's laughing and scattering things all over in his office. Please, you must come with me. I don't know what is wrong with him. Please. Where did you say he is? In his office.
See what they have done to my in law. Yeah? See what they have done to this small boy. Oh. Whoever did this to him, it will never be well with him. It will never, never be well with him. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Who said it's my mother? My mother. Who's the mother? Who's the mother? Taking him to psychiatric hospital this evening. And um, please, I want you to take this easy. Uh, especially you, Mrs. Kuchin. Thank you. Well, then, excuse me, Lutti calls. Thank you very much, Doctor. Be all right. Hmm? Once they take him to the professionals, they will have to calm him down. He will be okay. Ah! I'll be leaving now. Hmm? I, I was on my way to the shop when I heard the news. Hmm? Let me go home and prepare something for people to eat. Hmm. Okay, Doris. Take things, yes. Your husband will be okay. Huh? Hello? I'll be leaving now. Sorry, all my son. Sorry. Oh. 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 This is a special attack. I've seen cases like this before. Right? Yes. Rather than to take him to a psychiatric hospital, let's take him to a prayer house. You think it's better? Yes, it's better. If Mrs. Dike comes here, she must give you 18,000 naira before you release this shit for her. Whether I'm there or not, you should not make me change your mind. Okay? okay. You go and clean my office. Go and arrange those two new things before. Okay? I'm a cabbage! Oh, so! I am back in business. Relax! What? As expected. <laughs> You should have seen the idiots on the hospital bed. Huh? Yes! By this evening, they should be taking him to a psychiatric home. <laughs> can you beat that? I told you there is nothing our Supreme Mother can do. I know, and I believe you. Eh? Why don't we go somewhere cool and nice and drink to my success? I'm always at your service. Come on! <laughs> hey, hey, who's there? Ma! Bring me my, my key and bag. Where is the room? Ma, welcome. Yeah. Mm. Now, his two is coming with his wife. They put things for their wedding. Okay, ma. Treat them very well. Okay, ma. Then, take care of the back. <laughs> bye, bye, ma. Bye, bye. <laughs>
In our midst. You mad? This this madness. Do you know I can cure you of this your madness? Sit him down. Whatever this I did. I command you to be still in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power that is behind this, I command you. My cousin, Uche, a medical doctor. What, what, medical what is the matter, woman? What is the matter? This morning, somebody just rushed home. Just to inform us that he has lost his senses at work. Jesus Pastor Christ. A medical doctor. A medical doctor, Pastor. Jesus. Can you imagine? It's okay. Pastor, medical it's doctor. It's okay, woman. Because you have brought your cousin Hi. to this ministry, mm. I want to assure you mm. he has been healed. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Amen. God. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Yes, I want you all to believe that because you have brought him here, mm. there shall be deliverance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He's going to be healed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want you all to be on your knees for prayers. Yes, Set and shame unto you. Is. Open your mouth. Oh, set and shame unto you. Oh, set and shame unto you. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure about what you just told me? You're sure? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. It's me, Solomon. Um, is it true that our in-law, Dr. Uche, is now in a psychiatric home? Is it true? No, no. Rather than take him to the psychiatric home, he was taken to the prayer house. I'll go there tomorrow afternoon. I see. I, I think I'll join you there tomorrow as well. Um, do I pick you up so we go together? 
My dear, I would have loved that too, but I have to go to Olga school tomorrow for their PTA meeting. I'll go to the prayer house from there. So, how do I get to the prayer house then? Uh, when you get to Maryland roundabout, you take your left down the street on your right. The prayer house is located on the, uh, just before the end of that street. Okay, I'll be there about 1 p.m. I'll be there before 1 p.m. Oh, good. Good, it's all right. Um, See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow then. Yeah, bye. on him. But now he's killed. I even set up my daughter to kill him. But he didn't turn up. Please, Mother Supreme, I'm sorry to have disappointed you. I'm very sorry. But is there nothing we can do to bring a lasting solution to all these my problems, please? Blood. Hmm? Blood is the only alternative. Your husband, find a way to bring him to that city and then kill him. If you fail to do so, 
you will pay with your own blood. You have just three months. No, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Getting better. I thank God for his mercies. Yes. We have to thank God. The Bible says his mercies endure it forever. Amen. Amen. I can see it. Your cheeks are getting fatter, fatter. <laughs> um, I think your wife is doing a good job. Oh, Pastor. <laughs> yes. I'm You're only welcome. Trying. Thank You're you. trying. <laughs> Sit down. Thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> you see, Dr. Mitchell, when I was praying for you the other day, the Spirit of God ministered to me about the source of your problems. It is your mother-in-law. What? Impossible! Pastor! Are you surprised? Yes. Yes. You don't have to be surprised. The Spirit of God cannot lie. Your mother belongs to a cult. Yes. She was mandated in that cult. Not to allow you to get married. But unfortunately, she failed. Thank God you got married today to Dr. Tuche, to the glory of God. But she can never give in so easily. Yes. I would want you to encourage your sister to come and see me to her daughter Oga for prayers. Even your brother Solomon has to come too. As for Dr. Tuche, I want to assure you I've been healed and healed forever. The Bible says in the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9, affliction shall never rise for the second time. Amen. And the Bible says that whosoever Son of God set free is free indeed. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, Amen. shall we pray? Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your soul. Yes. Okay. I told her now. you. I was getting married. You tried to poison my husband but failed. Thank God we serve a faithful God. My husband has been healed and you can never touch us again. Therese, what this are you talking about? You accuse me, your mother? Of all my children, you are my favorite. You accuse me of being a cultist? You open your mouth and accuse me of being responsible for your husband's illness? Oh God, why? Why all this? Why did I have to live to see this day? Why didn't I die yesterday? Oh God, why? I didn't come here to watch you shed your coconut tears, Mama. Doris, who has been feeding you with all these lies against me? It doesn't matter who told me. What matters is that my husband has been healed and all your secrets have been revealed. Oh, Doris, you now visit Talatans. So, these quacks and their business center have decided to destroy the warm relationship, the warm mother and daughter relationship existing between us. My God, what do they stand to gain from all this? What do they stand to gain? My reason for coming here, Mama, is to tell you that you have lost the battle. Leave Olga alone. Don't initiate her. She will never be a member of your cult. From now on, you are no longer my mother. 
I disown you. God in heaven will judge you and I. But for now, go and get pregnant and have your own children before worrying about your sister's children. Mother, Mama. I've not seen him for months now. I called off the relationship. I don't know what came over me. I disgraced him. I'm ashamed of myself because I still love him. Mama, help me to beg him to forgive me. What are you doing here? Huh? Mama, what, 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 what's the meaning of Come, my son. Come and sit down. Huh? Sit down. Oh. <sighs> my son. Juliet came to lay a complaint. Give me. Uh, well, not really a complaint. She came to ask me to help her, beg you to forgive her all the things she did to you in the past. <laughs> forgive her? Huh? She walked away on me. She walked out on everything we had together. And now she wants me to forgive her. Please, forgive me. I don't know what came over me. I am sorry. My son, you have to forgive her. I want both of you to make a cup. I am actually looking forward to your marriage. You still want us to get married? Yes. I have said, let bygone be bygone. 
I want the best for all my children. Even Doris, who came here the other day and called me names. Doris opened her mouth and called me a prostitute. Doris called you a prostitute? I don't blame her. I blame my husband, who has stubbornly refused to come back to the city. If not, she wouldn't have called me a prostitute. Doris called you a prostitute. Anyway, we have to be cautious, my son. She is the least of my problems. Solomon, please you must help me. Juliet, you too must help me. I want my husband to come back to the city. Please. It's alright, Mama. Okay? Relax. I will help you. Okay? I will try my best and see what I can do. But as for Doris, whatever made her, how can she ever conceive in her, in her mind? That's, that's what I don't... so much for helping Juliet and I to be reconciled. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. My very big pleasure. Okay. I'm sure you still have some drinks in the fridge. Yes, anything you want. Go and get something for us to drink. <laughs> now, Daddy, we came to see you for two major reasons. I see. First is that I would love to introduce Juliet here to you. Mm. Juliet is the lady that I intend to marry. Oh! Yes. <laughs> oh, my daughter. You're welcome. That's oh, my dear. So, how are your people? They are fine, and you? Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> no, how don't you, how don't you <laughs> trust me again? <laughs> well, um, the other reason why we came to see you, Dad, is because of you and our mother. We want both of you back together again. We want to bring back the happy memories of our lives together in the city. You know, we miss you, Dad. I will establish any line of business that you would like to do once you come back to the city. Mama here misses you even more than every one of us. Please come back. <laughs> so Lomon. See, I'm at home right here in the village. I'm into politics. Daddy, you can yes. always play politics in the city. You are an educated man. Your mates are the ones holding positions of responsibility in the parties in the city. So why don't you come back? Please, Dad. Please. For our sake. Please, Nani, forgive me. I know that certain times I do things that I ought not to have done. Please forgive me and come back with us to the city, please. Papa, come back to the city. I promise you won't regret it. City. Good. I will come to the city because of this young lady. A stranger, but who I know will be my daughter in law very oh, yes. soon. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, at least let me appreciate her concern. 
It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. What's up? Yes. Now, there's something I want to tell you. Mm. Um, what is it? I make from time to time. I wanted to add it to the one Solomon will give you to establish your business. Preserve you for me in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. I like this place. Though everything looks new and very strange. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sure. Uh, okay, anyway, anyway, thank you very much. Don't be sure. <laughs> My business. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Now we can sleep. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to sleep very well. Hey! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> oh, let us sleep, eh? Oh, this is nice. Thank you, my dear, eh? <laughs> mm.
Open it. Please. Hold on, hold on. My lord. What is the problem? I will tell you. I will tell you. Please go and say. I will tell you. Close the door. Close the door. the matter. Papa answer me. I am on my way to the village. Village? Ah. Yes. At this time of the night. Papa, you have not still told me what the problem is. Right, Mama? She's in her house. I can't stay there again. I am no longer comfortable. I must go to the village now. Ah, Papa, it's past midnight. If you must go to the village, at least you stay with us till morning. Papa, please. Stay till morning. It's, it's too late. Please. Okay, I agree with you. Let me take you to the room. My dear, I'm very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Good night, Emma. transformed into a snake but just when I was about to strike him dead he woke up and fled since then I have not seen him again what? Miss Ichi, you failed again you are playing with your life in case you don't understand let me tell you a little about those who failed this oath in the past Amaka Lampo refused to bring her husband Obaka pushed her into a ghastly motor accident involving her husband and kids. They all died at the spot. Deborah Smith was killed by armed robbers. Ego, you know Ego now, the legislator's wife. The recent plane crash was because of her. Who's Echi? You're my very good friend. I introduced you into the court and I wouldn't want you to waste your, your life. Just look for your husband and eliminate him immediately. Head for the village. He's most likely to be there. Yes. Remember. It is either his head or your own head. The choice is yours. I must leave now. Let me go and freshen up. I still want to see you alive. Just do the right thing and you'll be promoted to a higher level in wealth and power. Yeah? Oh, I still pray. I see you in life again. I pray I see you in life again. My elders, 
I greet you people. Akaome! 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 Um, <clears throat> it is the will of God that we all will attend this political rally in the city. Yeah. I thank God that I came back just in time to be part of it. Are we all ready to go for the journey? Yeah. <laughs> um, Damadi, we are virtually ready. Uh, it's just that we need the money for the hiring of the bus. I see. And the allowances you promised us. Oh, yes, uh, that's true, that's true. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, just take this. Uh, oh. uh, pay the bus uh, driver and give everybody their feeding allowance. Okay. Come now. Oh, good old man! Come on, Yeah, here we come. Oh, good old man, I'm not going to Um, I want you people to understand why I am doing this. You see, politics is like farming. If you sow bountifully, you will be The more exposed you are, Is spending his good money. 
not only borrowed money, but blood money. Blood. And I'm not going to be part of it. Let him go and come back. We'll be here. Not possible. Everybody, they're fine. How yeah. about the children in the city? Everybody is fine. I have come to see how my husband is faring. I hope he is well. Damn, that is all right. Yeah. But he's not in now. Where did he go? Okay, they went for political rally at the neighboring town. But they must be back before the end of the day. I see. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. You look tired and hungry. <laughs> Hold on while I get the keys. Okay. when I was asleep. You did not have the courtesy of telling your wife. Why? Why do you have such a forgiving spirit? Eh? I even begged you for forgiveness with the sum of 300,000 naira, which you accepted. So why all this? Okay. Okay. Let's not continue with this. I prepared food. Why don't you go and take your shower while I warm the soup? We will eat, sleep. Tomorrow morning, both of us will go back to the city. I am not going back to any city. I will remain right here in the village. I am through with city life. Okay. If you don't want to go back to the city, you have failed your own part of the bargain. Woman, what are you talking about? I want my 300,000 naira back. That money was a gift. That was what you told me and that is why I accepted it. To tell you the truth, the money is gone. The choice is yours. Give me back my 300,000 naira or I'll go back to the city with me. I am not going back to any city. Woman, I'm tired. Let me rest. That money is gone. Let me rest. No, no. You must give back the money I loaned you. Uso, what is the money? Give me back the money or kill me! Uso, let me go rest. I'm tired. I'm not ever. You are an ingrate. Give me back my money. I want my dinner that has another back. They're not going anywhere. Ha! You want to leave that in also? Give me back my money! Just make your choice now! My money? Or we go back to the city together. Uh, Papa, we came as quickly as we got your message. The father couldn't come with us because of our condition. She is heavily pregnant now. So, what seems to be the problem now? Um, Solomon, when I came to the city, your mother gave me 300,000 naira and told me it's a gift. I spent all that money on politics and my personal needs. Your mother is now asking me to refund the money because I refuse to accompany her back to the city. 
Mommy, was that what happened? When my husband came back to the city, I gave him 300,000 Naira, which was the money I used for the day-to-day -day running of my uh, supply business for kids, since I didn't want to go to the bank then. Three days ago, he woke up at the middle of the night and disappeared with my money. I had to trace him down to this village and demanded for my money. My children. Your father must give me my money. I worked hard for it. I did not steal it. Well, um, I have heard what you said, Mama. Don't worry, I will repay the money. But you have to give me one week to arrange it. I will wait. I must wait and collect my hard-earned money before leaving this village. For you, Papa. Politics is a game for the rich. You don't just dabble into politics because you had access to 300,000 naira. I understand what Mommy is saying. No businessman or woman throws money away like Father Christmas. See? If politics is played fairly and squarely, it is good. But we all know that in this country, it's only those who have access to large sums of money, even if it's stolen, that have good chances of winning in politics. Thank you very much, my son. You have spoken like a man. You see, me, I love peace. And I want peace in this family. Um, thank you, Solomon, for promising to pay back the money your mother gave to me. To be candid, I'm not finding that easy here in the village. Then come back to the city. No, my son, I cannot. Why won't you come back to the city? That is not the issue. When they bring back your money, I will tell your children a very long and shocking story. A shocking story? Yes, my dear. Hey, Papa, tell us now. No, my dear, I won't do that. When the money is ready, I will do so. Anyway, you can stay in the village with your shocking story. I am going back to the city. I will be back when my money is ready. already here. It's good you have time. How do you like this place? A nice hotel. A perfect hideout. I see. You have to do this job. You really have to do it for me. Time is actually running out on me. You get your balance when the job is completed. Madam, we call it cash. No checks. I know. We don't believe in credit. So pay now. I see. We collect complete payment. No advance. It's okay. That's all right. I just want a neat job. Devoid of suspicion. When we leave for the village? We leave on Friday morning. So you people can observe and strike when it is dark. I want the job completed before my son comes in on Saturday. Don't worry, madam. Your husband is just a small fry. Just perform and leave us to our heart. That's okay. That's your balance. Remember, we leave on Friday morning. Good night.
Okay, I hope you're not referring to my husband, though. Who's that? Dama, their husband is dead. What? He's dead! Yeah! Oh, my God! I need my kids! Hey! Who is that? Oh, my God!
Auntie Monica. <laughs> What's going on here? Someone is your father. He committed suicide. My father? Yes. His body is hanging at the back head. It's not possible. It's not possible. Come and show me the body. Him down and take him to the mortuary. Yes, Serious problem here. I suspect foul play. I suspect foul play. You see, when a man hangs himself, his feet will be suspended. You know, at least he needs elevation in order to hang. But the past feet are firmly planted on the ground. Yes. Oh, my heaven, yes. So I must invite police into this matter. Uh, yes. Tell us where they please. <laughs> Solomon. This is not a police issue. We have our way of doing this. Amadi may be your father, but he was our brother. Look, Mazi, what are you saying in essence? What are you saying? Everybody is a suspect. Everyone who was around when Amadi died will have to swear. Mazi, swear to what? To our honor. The wicked never goes unpunished. Politics has killed my husband. I want him to forget politics. I begged him to come and stay with us in the city and forget everything about politics. But he did not listen to me. Politics, the dirty and dangerous game, has killed my beloved husband. You see it? Uh, Mama, I have to inform Ifat to, and Doris about this development. Tell them to come and see me. They should come and see their mother sitting on the floor. Ifat, this line is not available now. Oh. Uh, let me see if I can get Doris. We thank God that the Thanksgiving service was a huge success. <laughs> well, we owe it all to God, and of course to you and your husband. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Yes. We give God the You're thanks. You're welcome, yes. Mm. Thank God for everything. Excuse me. You're quite excused. My brother Solomon. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello, Doris. Uh, Solomon here. <laughs> okay. So how was uh, how was your trip? Have you given my mother three hundred thousand? Doris, listen, listen carefully. 
there's a big problem. A big problem here. Papa is dead. We saw his body hanging from a tree in the backyard. This is not true. Okay. Papa can't die like that. Villagers believe it's suicide, but I think otherwise. I suspect foul play. I believe that he was murdered. Brother, are you, are you sure of what you're saying? We've taken his body to the mortuary. Good. Mama. Oh, Mama is here. She's sitting here, still crying and saying that she wants to kill herself. Now, you and Ifa have to start coming back immediately. Okay, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. All right. Bye now. Be careful. I will, I will. Bye bye. <laughs> Sister Doris, what actually happened? Talk to me, talk to me. What is the matter? Talk to me. My other brother, Solomon. Called to say my father hanged himself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But he says he suspects mother. What of your mother? <laughs> He's not so in the village, kid. I think I'll find out your village. <laughs> My spirit tells me so. It's okay, it's okay, stop crying. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. God is in control, it's okay. It's okay, I know how you feel. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry, your father is dead. What? That's what your brother told me. I'm sorry. But mama. Why didn't you inform Uncle Rory and Auntie Monica when it was late and Papa did not return? Eh? Why didn't you make any effort to look for him? You don't know how stubborn he is. What did I not do to make him come and stay with us in the city? That's... Amani was so strong-willed and would only listen to himself. Oh, Amade. 
Why did you have to do this to us? Eh? Why did you have to put us through all this? Thank you so much for making that time to come. That reminds me, I'm sorry I couldn't come for the miracle service where my in-law today, Uche, was healed. Um, we just have to thank God who has healed your brother-in-law, Dr. Uche. Yes. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Brother, where is Mama? Oh, she's right there. Come, please come. What kind of fashion is that? The father killed himself. What else do you want to hear from me? Mama, I am asking because I know Papa will never do that to himself. Papa can never kill himself. You are right, my daughter. Hmm. Your father must have been murdered. <laughs> um, it's okay. I heard about his death and I felt it was wise to come and console this family. The Lord give it, and the Lord take it. May Almighty God comfort this family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I want us to be on our feet for prayers. Prayers? Yes, sir. Well, but after your prayers, Pastor, who we'll see go to the shrine, a mother cannot die in vain. We shall have to swear by our great oracle, Akoko. Bam! Sir, your oracle, Akoko, or whatever you call it, has no power whatsoever to open the seals of the enemies in this family. It's only Jesus Christ, the Lord of Chabot Judea, the ancient of the days, the Messiah's the omnipotent God. I am that I am. He is the only one that has the power to open the seals of the enemies in this family. I want all of you, please, to be on your feet for prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. everlasting Father, King of glory, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity you have given to us to gather together. Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, that you shall comfort this family in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I stand upon the word of God. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, which says, The authority of God has been given over to me, over nations and kingdoms, to uproot, to bind, to destroy, and to overthrow every part of the enemies. Everlasting Father King of Glory, as your servant, I stand upon that word. I come against every part of the enemies operating in this family. In the name of Jesus. Stop, Jesus Christ. Stop it. Stop. 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 I'm 
a member of the Obaka Women Cult. I joined the cult after Chief Marcos, my husband's employer, used me and dumped me. When my husband discovered my infidelity, he had to resign from his company and leave for village. I joined the cult and killed Chief Marcos. One Rama, my son-in-law wanted to sink a borehole for Amadi in the village. I set his office on fire and that made him lose his job. I said it! I knew I knew that you made my husband mad! Sorry. And you denied it! I knew it! When your husband was killed, the cult was furious with me. They demanded a return the head of my own husband. Unfortunately, on the night I was to sacrifice him, I turned into a snake. He woke up and fled to the village. I followed him to the village in order to live up to the demands of the cult. If I didn't kill him, I would have died in his place. That's my confession. Bitch! Bitch has confessed! She has confessed! Oh, but she must pay dearly for it. She must! I, I must go to the courthouse now! I must leave for the courthouse. They are waiting for me.
mother is beautiful indeed. Loving and taking care of a family. But when a mother's heart is full of evil and sin, the family falls apart. Sorrow and pain begin. The heart of a woman is full of love. The heart of a mother should be good and pure. When a mother is so evil, she breaks a family. Of a mother.